Hello, good evening. Hello there. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Lucy. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Very well, thank you very much. Ready for the class? Yes, we're ready. Nice, that's very good. Hi, Javier. Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello, how are you? How are you? Fine. Um, how, how are you? Uh, very good. Uh, the, right. the new, the, the like, no, no working in San Salvador. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you... So wrong, so wrong. <laughs> yeah. So, so you have no electricity? Yeah. Do you have electricity? Or you don't have electricity? Ahorita si. Ya llegó. Ahorita si, I, I have electricity. Yeah. All right. Uh, Elenilson has electricity, right? Raquel, do you have electricity? Yes, right, I think. Lucy, do you have electricity? Tiene electricidad? Do you have electricity? I'm here in Sonsonate, but almost a few minutes, eh, se fue la luz. Ah, it was only for a, for a little while. <laughs> Solo por un rato. It was only for a little while. Yes. All right. Irma, tiene electricidad. Do you have electricity? Ya vi al primero en oscuro por ahí. Santos, I think. Santos, no electricity. <laughs> Santos, hello. Yes. Yes, I have. Ah, you have electricity. Ah, okay. Es que veo oscuro por ahí. I thought you didn't have electricity. <laughs> Irma has electricity too. Ah, la mayoría tiene electricidad. ¿Quién, ¿Quién se ha quedado sin electricidad? Nadie. Nobody. No, no, right? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Majo. Welcome. Ok, bueno, gracias a Dios que todos los que están conectados tienen electricidad. Imagino que algunos de los que no están conectados seguramente no tienen electricidad, ¿verdad? Imagino, hay imágenes. Uh, no, teacher, aquí, aquí en Zacate acaba de venir hace como, como tres minutos. Oh, recientemente. Sí, pensé que no iba a poder recibir la clase. Sí, esa era, el, esa, esa era la discusión que, que estaba ahorita este, en, en el grupo, pero igual la clase siempre... Siempre la autorización que siempre se, se iba a dar, pero gracias a Dios que ya, re, ya, ya regresó la electricidad entonces más hoy en su zona. It's good news. Okay. So, uh, quick question. Uh, did you finish your conversation? Are you ready to present your conversation to your classmates? ¿Están listos para presentar a sus compañeros la conversación? You ready? Don't say no, please. No me digan no. Don't say no, please. Le voy a dar la opción de compartir pantalla en un momento, ¿ok? I will give you the option to share the screen so you can share your, your conversation. Ok. Ok, more people are getting connected. Let me see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ok. But I think Carlos was texting me. Yes, right, Carlos? You were texting me, right? Yes, I think he's driving. Okay. All right, let's start then. And I will pass the attendance quickly. Le pasaré asistencia entonces para que demos inicio. So we start. Carlos, he's connected, right? Uh, Claudia? Cristina? Present. Daniel? Doris, Raquel. Ellen Eason. Present teacher. Kelsey. Hazel. Hector. Present teacher. Ok. Irma. No se le escucha, Irma, nuevamente. Okay, let's see uh, Javier. Present teacher. Juni. Mm. 
Mauricio? Mauricio is not connected, right? Okay. Lucy? Present. Maho? Present. Rafa? Not connected, right? Okay. Santos? Present. Ulises? Wendy? Jessica, not connected. Carla Maria? Present. And Carla Raquel. Present, teacher. All right, very good. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, Lisa is just getting connected, I think. I will put the attendance. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I will put the attendance. Okay, uh, so welcome again, everybody. Bienvenidos nuevamente. Welcome again. De los que recién se conectan, ¿hay alguien que no tenga electricidad? No, everybody has electricity from the ones connected. Yes, right. Okay, uh, just let me, uh, just before we go to, uh, to today's uh, content and before uh, you share uh, your conversations, okay, because you were supposed to write, okay, you were supposed to write a conversation, right? And today you are supposed to share your conversation with your partners, okay? So they check your conversation, yeah? En un momento les activaré la opción cuando estemos ya en esa actividad para que puedan compartir pantallas. So you can share screens, okay? For you to share your conversation, okay? But in the meantime, mientras tanto, in the meantime, uh, let's just review about what we have studied in the previous classes, okay? So basically, in the previous classes, uh, we studied the simple past. We started, we studied positive, negative, and just no questions, right? Yeah? Positive, negative, and just no questions in simple past, okay? So that's what we studied in the previous classes. Okay, let's see. Um, give me one example in positive, in past, please. I need one example in positive. Can you give me one? One example in positive in the simple past. You can use the verb to be or any other verb. Pueden usar el verbo to be o cualquier otro verbo. The verb to be or any other verb. I mean, was or where or any other verb, okay? Examples? In positive, okay, let's start with positive. <laughs> okay, let me repeat. I need examples in past in positive form. I will give you one, okay? I was in class yesterday. One. Another. I bought, uh, let me see, some shoes. I bought some shoes. Uh, the last month. I bought, choose the last month. I attended class yesterday. So tell me one example, please. In, in positive. I think Ellen Nielsen wanted to. Yes, right? Yeah, I worked last night. Good. I worked last night with ED. Thank you very much. I Another... visited my friend last week. Good. In this case, you say, Lucy, I visited with ED. I visited. Can you repeat, please? I visited my friend. I visited my friend last week. Excellent. Another example? I went to run at noon. Okay. I went running at noon. All right. That's perfect. When running, you say, when running. Okay. One more, one more example. Oh my goodness, what's going on? One more example, please, in positive, past in positive. No more examples? No, okay. 
So the second thing we started was the negative form of the past tense, la forma negativa del pasado simple, okay, of the simple past tense. And we say that for the negative, we use didn't, didn't and the verb in present, okay? Didn't and the verb in present. For example, um, I didn't work yesterday. I didn't check my email uh, in the morning. I didn't do my homework the last week, all right? I didn't. So can you tell me examples in negative, please? I want to listen to you. Tell me some examples in negative, please. I didn't or she didn't. Lucy didn't. My boss didn't, okay? So I listen to you, I'm all ears, I'm all ears. I need examples in negative, please. Ya voy a hacer finger pointing entonces, si no quieren participar, ya voy a empezar a hacerle. Finger pointing. Everybody didn't get it. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm disappointed in this moment because I feel bad as a teacher. <laughs> Here. Okay, I need examples in negative, please. Here you have some examples. Aquí están los ejemplos que vimos en el tema. Eh, Ellen Nilsson Diren receive a new new como se dice entrenamiento este, training training the, the new training the air marshal all right uh elenison didn't receive the new training the air marshal all right very good of the air of air what Air Marshal, teacher. Marshal. Okay, what is that? Air Marshal. Hola. In simple, in simple words or in technical words. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. That's why I'm asking. What is that? Okay, uh, es es en la en la jerga popular es eh, señaliz es la señalización de aviones. Oh, I see. All right. So you didn't receive the training about that, Elenison? Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Javier. And uh, thank you for clarifying. Okay, that's technical vocabulary. Thank you very much. So another example in negative. Volunteers, voluntarios, volunteers. Oh my goodness, you have come so quiet today. Bien calladitos han venido hoy. For example, she didn't go to the church. Okay, she didn't go to the church. It's perfect. Okay, so I, somebody else said teacher. I'll give my dear teacher. Hector, I think, right? Yes. He, he didn't plant the field uh, last year. Repeat it, please. She didn't. He didn't plant the field yes, uh, the last year. All right, she didn't plant the seeds the last year. All right, the seeds, right? Field, campo, I don't know. Ah, the field, I, I heard the seeds, las semillas, the field, okay? Ah, she didn't field. plant the field. Yeah. Uh -huh. ah, it's okay, a field, it's okay. Thank you very much, Hector. Okay, uh, so one more example, un ejemplo más, one more example. It's okay, it's okay, try. He didn't send a report. A report. Yeah, it's okay. He, he, 
He didn't I send a didn't, report. I didn't prepare meeting. Okay. Marcos didn't to pay my breakfast. Didn't pay. You say didn't pay. Pay. Uh huh. Didn't pay. Didn't, didn't pay my breakfast. Yeah, it's okay, Maho. It's perfect. Thank you very much. Only that sometimes it's important other? to say the time expression. A veces es importante decir la expresión de tiempo, okay? Uh, when um, yesterday. Me, and me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Adelante. And he didn't work online. Okay, that's perfect. He didn't work online. online. That's very good. Yeah, it's good, Carla. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, so in the negative, we use didn't, right? And the verb is in present, okay? And when we are using the verb to be, was and or, weren't, okay? Thank you very much for your participation. Now, in this moment, in this moment, let's go to the questions. Okay, in the questions, you use did. For example, uh, did you work? Yesterday, trabajaste ayer. Did you work yesterday? Or did Rafael visit uh, the clients uh, in the morning, for example? Rafael visitó los clientes en la mañana. It's a question, right? Did. So you start the question using did in the past. So please, in this moment, ask me questions. Ask me questions in past. Háganme preguntas en pasado. Ask me questions in past. And I will respond to you. I will answer to you. Me questions. I have me preguntas en pasado. Ask me questions in past. Did you did you travel last week? Mm, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Thank you. Another question. Teacher. Yes. Did you study another language? Mm, yes, I did, but a little bit. Yeah. I respect you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, any other question? Did you work Saturday? Okay, Lucy, repeat your question. Did you work Saturday? Okay, the question is okay, uh, Lucy, but you need to say on, on Saturday. Now, repeat okay. the question, but on say Saturday. on Saturday. Repeat the question. Did you work on Saturday? No, I didn't. I, I stayed with my family. Thank you, Lucy. All right, some more questions okay. for the teacher? More. Okay, Elenilson. Did... And then Santos. Okay. Elenilson first. Okay. Did you fall asleep last night? Around 11.30. Okay. Yes, yes, I did, around 11.30. Okay. All right, let's see Santos. Did you visit your uh, Sunday? Yes, I did. Uh, in this case, maybe sometimes you can say, did you go to church? Did you go to church, right? Oh, okay. Did you go? Did you go okay. to church? Yeah, go to church. Uh, Rafa. Teacher. Teacher, went to the doctor on Saturday. Did you go to the doctor on Saturday? No, I didn't. I was okay. Thank you, Rafa. Thank you very much. All right, so uh, two more questions. Two more questions. Two more questions for me. Did Irma. you oh, Irma, that's in family okay, in Molas? Oh, sorry. Can you repeat, please? Did... Did you visit your family in Mot Lats? The last the one? Ah, uh, no, one. I didn't. No, I didn't. One more. One um, more. Carla Maria. Did, did you cook in your house? When? Today? Yesterday? And today? Every day. Um, Okay, the, the thing the thing here is that you can say every day because you are not talking in present, okay? It's past, remember. Ah, so you can ah, say okay. maybe today or in the morning or yesterday, I don't know. The right? weekend, the last weekend. 
Yes, I did. I like cooking. Okay. Okay, uh, Santos, you want to ask another question? No, I could see you were like, me, me, no. No, right, okay. Michelle. Carla, Raquel. Go, work last Saturday. Did you work? Repeat okay. the question, but say, did you work? Did you work, okay. Okay, repeat the question. Teacher, did you work last Saturday? Teacher, did you work? Work? Last Saturday? Mm, no, I didn't. I, I, don't, I don't work on Saturdays. I only work from Monday to Friday. Weekends are free for me, for my family, for my hobbies. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Okay, thank you for your questions. I can see the questions are clear. Veo que las preguntas sí las tienen más claras. El problema fue en el positive y en el negative a little bit. Creo que es porque estaban arrancando que les gustó un poquito, ¿verdad? You are just getting started. Okay, thank you for your um, participations, okay? And let's go to today's content. Okay, let's go to today's content. Aquí perdí la página porque les quería mostrar esto nuevamente. Okay, um, so the idea for today is to ask customers details about problems they have and to provide a solution. That's the idea for today's class, right? For this, we will make a conversation at the end. But in this moment, we have this here. It says, brainstorm about more questions. You ask customers to get more information about a problem they have. Me pueden decir teacher, pero ya hicimos eso. Pero dice further questions, okay? Uh, haz una lluvia de ideas acerca de preguntas o más profundas que tú le haces a tus clientes para conseguir información acerca de un problema que ellos tienen. All right? So, I want to see deeper questions or further questions, okay? Más preguntas. No las que ya hicieron, en, porque esa, esa actividad ya la hicimos en, en las clases anteriores, pero quiero que piensen en, en preguntas diferentes. Think of different questions, okay? Please. Maybe you can write three questions, okay? Three further questions. When it says a problem they have, is a problem with a product or with a purchase maybe, right? The best un problema con un producto, con una compra, with a purchase, with service, okay? I don't know what you do in your company. So write three questions only. ¿Se entiende qué van a hacer? Is it clear what you have to do? Yeah. Okay. Your silence tells me that you understand. Only three questions.
Uh, please, when you finish, uh, go to reactions and raise your hands, ¿ok? Lo mismo, siempre cuando terminen van a reacciones y levantan la mano, por favor. Go to reactions and raise your hand, please, when you finish.
Okay, only Elenilson has finished, right? Elenilson has raised hands. Oh, Hector too. He has for, he had forgotten. Okay, thank you, Hector. So please, in case you finished, go to reactions and raise your hand, please. Okay, I'll give you. Veo que solo dos han terminado. So I'll give you three more minutes. Les daré tres minutos más. I'll give you three more minutes, okay? For this. Okay, uh, well, let's see what you have. It's okay. Uh, if you have one or two questions, just say your questions, okay? If you have the three questions, I mean, it's okay. You can share your three questions, all right? So uh, let's start. Uh, let's see, uh, Santos, how many questions do you have, Santos? How many questions do you have? One, two, or three? Okay. One how many? How many do you have? How many questions? Okay, sorry. What what is your favorite product? What is your favorite product? Okay. Yes, and when you box el pasado de comprar box box. Okay, but when you remember box. remember that for the questions you use did. So uh, it's when, when did you buy? When you did when did you buy buy the buy the product? The product. When okay, the excellent. Product? Thank you. And, Maybe, yeah, continue. One, what, what the maintenance do you give at the computer? Okay, what's the maintenance you give to the computer? Okay, yeah, it's perfect. Yes. Maybe question number one, what's your favorite product? I mean, basically it's about a problem, right? And asking what's your favorite product? Maybe question number one is not appropriate for this situation, okay? But two um, and three okay. are okay. Okay, two and three are okay. okay. Yeah, okay. okay, thank you very much. Uh, let's see, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Irma, do you have audio? Ya tiene audio, Irma? Yes, no? No, right, no. Okay, no problem. Okay, let's listen to Hector. What questions do you have, Hector? 
I have two questions. Okay, read the questions for your classmates. Okay. Did you read the formulary before send it? Send it. Did you check for a doctor for apply the incapacity? All right. Did they receive the capacitation from the engineer before start the job? All right. Maybe you can say the training. Okay. Training. Instead of saying capacitation, yeah, the training. Did they receive oh. the training? Train like choo choo. No. The, not, not, yeah, train from like the choo choo, but with ING. Okay. Training. Training. Yeah, with ING. Training is like capacitation, entrenamiento. Okay. okay. Training. Okay. Thank you very much, Hector. That's very good. Thank you very much. Uh, let's listen to uh, um, Christina. Yes, teacher. He All apagado right. la cámara por el internet. It's okay. Don't worry. Okay. Did you receive the port in the time accord? Okay. Did you call fill the claim? Okay. Did you call the client? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you buy gift card in this porch? In this purchase. Purchase. Okay. Purchase. All right. Maybe the second is from the customer to the to the or from from the bus to the to another agent, right? Okay. Question number two. Okay. okay. Thank you, Christina. Uh, let's listen to two two two. Wendy, are you ready? Well, I think she's not there, right? Everything is dark. Okay, let's listen to Carla Raquel. How I make your purchase? How did you make your purchase? Okay. Okay. Poor quality in clothing. Poor quality, all right. When did you make the purchase? All right, when did you make the purchase? That's better. Thank you very much, Carla. Uh, Carla, Raquel. <laughs> now let's listen to, uh, um, let me see here, Elenilson. I think he finished first. Are you ready, Elenilson, or you're busy? I think he's busy, right? He's working. Okay, let's listen to Carla Maria. Um, when, when you request the service? All right. Only question. Only one question. Okay, thank yes. you very much. Thank you, Carla Maria. Let's listen to a last. Oh, oh Elenison is ready. Okay, Elenison, go ahead. Okay, uh, just a question. Uh, the question were in the past or in present is okay because I didn't do it. I did do it in, in present. <laughs> Read it. We, I want to, uh, we want to listen to it. Read it. Okay. Uh, the client, from me to the client, if the product doesn't work for you, how do you prepare it? How do you prepare it? The first, the first one. The second one, how does the product should be? The first one, could you tell me just a little more about it? Okay. That's it? Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. So basically you are asking for suggestions in your questions, right? Yeah. Kind of, okay, thank you. That's very good. Thank you, Ellen Nilsson. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, now let's listen to another, to, to a last participation, una última participación, a volunteer, un voluntario, a volunteer for a last participation. <clears throat> a volunteer, no. Oh, Rafa, I think. Okay, Rafa, share your questions. <clears throat> Sir, how do you have a problem with the air conditioning? Is the one. Second, excuse me, sir, do you have a problem with the refrigerator? Number three, sir, the product will arrive later this day. All right. So the last one is not, it's not, it's not like a question. It's like giving information, right? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Rafa. Thank you very much for your uh, questions. Okay. Very good. 
So basically, this is for uh, questions you can ask your customers about a problem they have, right? In, in present, but the questions can be in past, like when did you buy the product? Uh, did you receive warranty, for example? Okay, did you receive a warranty? Or uh, did they send you all the parts of the product, for example? I don't know, I'm just using my imagination, okay? So those, those were the questions you were supposed to, to make, okay? Good, so thank you very much for your participation. Uh, let's go now to the next activity. So in the next activity, uh, we have an email. It's page number 35, okay? So the email is to Peter from, and it's a complaint, right? So the topic or the subject of the, of the email is a complaint about a trip, all right? And who is sending? Hazer that are, all right, good. So listen, please, carefully. Read the information of the email and answer the questions below. Page number 35. Read the information of the email and answer the questions, okay? So please take a moment and answer the questions. Read the email and answer the questions, please. I will give you around seven minutes for this, five or seven minutes for this. So read and answer.
Are you ready? Are you ready to share? No, not yet. Or you are ready? Okay, I'll give you one more minute to finish, okay? One more minute to finish. And then we check the answers for the questions.
Okay, uh, let's see what you have. Uh, let's see. Um, so we have three questions, right? Okay, let's see. Question number one. Let's listen to Maho. Okay, Maho, read the question and give your answer, please. Maho, are you ready? For question number one, read the question and your answer for the question. And then there is, uh, where did the passenger go? Yes, number one. So where did the passenger go, Maho? Ah, pues aquí yo solo le entendí que dice another country. It's correct, it's correct, Maho. He went to another country, okay? So you say he went to another country. Él fue a otro país. He went to another mm. country, okay? It's okay, Maho. And me, uh, the passenger went? To the yeah. other country. It's okay too. It's okay. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. The passenger went to another country. Yeah, but if you don't want to say the passenger again, you say he. Okay, he went to another country. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's see number two. Lucy, read the question and give the answer. Why did the passenger consider it a bad experience? Example. Answer. Um, the passenger consider it a bad experience because he or she didn't have a AC. That's right. The transportation didn't have AC, right? The transportation didn't have AC, I think. I think it was the transportation, right? Okay. Thank you very much, Lucy. Uh, let's see question number three. Estoy eligiendo los que no participaron en la anterior. Okay, I have just some people who didn't participate in the previous activity. Let me see here. Ulises, uh, will you participate? Or you are busy? Teacher, vengo llegando, vengo llegando. Ya me okay. pongo en contacto. Okay, no problem. It's okay. All right, let's listen to Wendy. Oh, Wendy, creo que ha dejado nada más la cámara ahí. No, just right. Okay, uh, so let's listen then to, um, let me see. Okay, no han participado. Irma, no tiene audio todavía. You have no audio. Irma, cuando se conecta, le da la opción de entrar con audio. Okay, sí, porque yo creo que es que está entrando sin audio seguramente. Cuando entra al principio, cuando ingresa al... A la plataforma creo que entra sin audio. Ahí le pregunta usar audio de su teléfono, de la computadora, le, le tira un mensajito. Ok. Al inicio. Ok, let's listen then to um, Hector. Number three. What did the passenger send the email? He did send email. Hello, teacher. Explain. Hello. Hello, Irma. Hello. Eh, ya me escucha. Ahora sí se le escucha, mucho ah, mejor. Ah, pues Thank eran you. los audífonos. Ah, <laughs> eran los audífonos los que no sirven <laughs> entonces. Ok, Héctor, continue. Perdón. It's okay. He did send email for complaint about the trip. That's right. It's, I think, why did the passenger send that email? I think the question is why, right? Why did the passenger send that ah. email? Mm -hmm. I think it's why. Uh -huh. I think there is a mistake in the question. Ok, but repeat your answer, please. He did send email for complaint about the trip. That's right. Okay. It's the same. It's a reason. It's for complaining about a trip. It's excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Now, we have this little email here. I will pronounce the email twice for you. Le voy a pronunciar dos veces el correo y luego vamos a escuchar unas cinco participaciones. Okay. We will listen to five participations. Pronouncing the email to practice pronunciation. Okay. So please listen to the pronunciation carefully. Okay, let's go ahead. To Peter at gmail.com, at gmail.com. Subject, complain about a trip. From hazer.r at gmail.com. Creo que es gmail con, con, con her, right? With gmail.com. Okay, let's start. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. 
But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Listen again, please. To peter at gmail.com. Subject, complain about a trip. From hazer.r at gmail.com. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Okay, let's listen to, 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 to Irma. Now that you have the audio. Okay. <laughs> Eh, tú, Peter, eh, arroba como, ¿cómo se dice? Tú? At. At. Tú, Peter, at email.com. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Continue. Oh, my God. I think she has no connection now. Hello, Irma. Hello. 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 No, she has no connection, I think. Okay, let's listen to another uh, participant then. Okay, let me see, Maho just participated. Ellen Nielsen. <laughs> okay, teacher. Uh, to Peter at gmail.com. Subject, complaint, complaint about a trip from hazer.r at gmail.com. Last, last week, I had chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned me in didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I'm considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I had. Great, that's excellent. In the last part, you only say inconvenience. Inconvenience, okay. Inconvenience I had. Thank you very much, Ayala Nielsen. Let's listen to Carla Maria Ayala. Okay, to peter at gmail.com, subject. Complaint about a trip from Hazer that are at gmail.com. Last week, I had the chance to travel with your company to another country. But to be honest with you, it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned, assigned me in didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I have. All right. Thank you very much, Carla Maria. Uh, well, for this, you say assign, that you assign, assign. me in, assign, and inconvenience, okay? The same inconvenience, inconvenience and assign. Okay, okay, thank you very much, Carla. Hazel. You're next. Okay, teacher. To Peter, no sé cómo se dice arroba. At. At. To Peter at jmail.com. Dot com. At com. Dot. Subject complaint. Dot. Dot com. Dot. Dot com. Yeah. Subject complaint about a trip from Hazer. Dot. Art at jmail.com last week i had the chance to travel with your company to another country but to be honest with you it was a bad experience because the bus that you assigned 
me it didn't have AC. It was a long trip and the bus was very slow. I am considering not traveling with you again because of the inconvenience I have. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you very much, Hazel. So here it is. Punto is dot. Arroba is at. Okay, so that's the pronunciation for that. So let's listen to a last person. Escuchamos una última persona. Uh, Wendy. Okay, Hello, teacher. I do better. Um, no sé cómo se dice arroba. Ahí está, ahí se oh. me escribía la palabra. At. Ah, at, at, eh, apoy, com. Sujet, eh, sujet, com, play, about, a trip, eh, from, hazer, point, eh, at, gmail.com. That's going that, that com. That com. That, that, that com. Ajá, punto La, com is that com. Last week I have, okay. Last week I have taken chase uh, to travel with your company to, um, como se dice, another. Another, it's okay. Another country. A boy to be honest, honest with you, it was what a bad experience because a day was what you seen, seen there, seen there, uh, made in the didn't I have a, a see it was a laundry tree and the bus was very slow. I am considering I not I I travel with your you I gain because of the conviction I have. Okay, thank you very much. Experience, you say experience, okay? Experience. Experience. That's right, that's right. Okay, uh, thank you very much for your participation again. Thank you. All right, that was really good, thank you. Now let's go to the next activity. And before we go, just let me pass the attendance, okay? So Carlos is busy, I think. Claudia, Cristina. Cristina is connected? Yes, right? No, she isn't. Okay, Daniel? Is Daniel connected? Yes, teacher. All right. Doris Raquel? Ellen Eason? Present, teacher. Elsie? Hazel? Present. Hector? Present, teacher. Irma? Javier? I am here, teacher. Johnny? Mauricio? Present, teacher. Lucy? Present. Majo? Present, teacher. Rafa? Present, teacher. Santos? Present, teacher. Ulises? Present, teacher. Wendy? I am here. Carla Maria? Teacher. Present. Okay, Cristina. Thank okay. you. And I said Carla Raquel, right? No? Sí, teacher. Present. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, now listen. Bueno, solo recordar que para mañana, como siempre, ya aburro con eso, pero quiero recordarlo para mañana antes de la sesión, deben completar la sección número tres. Okay. Por favor, please. 
Ok, mañana antes de la sesión debe estar completa la sección número 3 en la plataforma. Please, do me that favor. Ok, that's excellent. So let's, let's continue with the next part. And in the next part, I will share a PowerPoint here, a PowerPoint slide, ok? So listen, uh, in, this PowerPoint, in this PowerPoint slide, we have, and pay attention here, pay a lot of attention, presten mucha atención acá. We have WH questions, okay? Or WH words. Like, for example, we have the word what? Okay, yeah, I could see. Puede verlo. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we have who, when, where, why, which, how. How many and how often, right? Which are part of them, okay? But 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 by now, let's focus on, on these ones, on what, who, when, where, why, which, and how. So these are WH questions, okay? ¿Por qué se llaman WH questions? Porque llevan WH. They have WH, all right? That's why we call them WH questions. They have a purpose to be used. For example, we use what to ask for information. Usamos what para preguntar por información o para pedir información. For example, what's your name? Uh, what did you do yesterday? I need information, right? Uh, what, what's your phone number? So it's information. So we use what to ask for information. Who? We use who to ask about people para preguntar acerca de personas. For example, who is your father? Who is your boss? Ah, my boss is Dagoberto, for example. People, right? Para preguntar por personas. Or who is your, what? Who is your coworker? Ah, you say my coworker is Luis. Luis is someone, a person, people, right? Yes? So usamos el who para preguntar por personas. ¿Quién? We use when to ask for time or to ask about time para preguntar acerca de tiempo. Okay, for example, when is the class? The class is on Friday. Friday is time, right? Friday is tiempo. Or maybe you can say, uh, when is vacation? Ah, vacation is in August. August is time, okay? Yeah. So we use when to ask for time. Usamos el when para preguntar por tiempo. ¿Cuándo? Where. We use where to ask for a place or location, para preguntar por lugar. For example, uh, where do you work? I work at Siman, for example. I work at Siman or any other, I work at Regal International or Inglés Corporativo. Inglés Corporativo is a place, okay? Is done there, right? And we have finally, uh, oh, sorry, next we have why. Why is used to ask for a reason, para pedir razones o para preguntar por una razón. For example, why do you study English? Ah, because I love it, because I like it, because it's important. It's a reason, es una razón, ¿verdad? Porque es importante. Because it's part of my job, porque es parte de mi trabajo, because it's part of my job. Okay, so why to ask for a reason? Why es para preguntar por una razón? Which is to ask for choice or option, para preguntar por opciones. For example, which movie do you prefer? It's an option, right? It's a choice, it's una opción. Or which food do you eat in the morning? It's a choice, it's una opción, right? And finally, how. How is to ask for way or form, okay, para preguntar por, por una forma, okay? For example, how are you? or for information somehow, okay? Fine, thank you, or how is, how was the trip? Como estuvo el, el viaje? How was the trip? Okay, form or way, or information in the end, okay? So these are WH questions. Estas son WH questions. ¿Quieren hacerle una captura a esto? You want to make a screenshot? Yes, pueden hacerle una captura y la envían ahí al grupo de WhatsApp, okay? This is important for the next topic, okay? Les expliqué esto porque eso es importante para el tema que viene ahorita. For the topic that is coming. 
Ready? Is there a captura? Did you make the screenshot? Okay, so in other words, WH questions are information questions. Esta palabra la usamos para hacer preguntas abiertas en inglés. In Spanish, we say preguntas abiertas. But in English, you say information questions, okay? Or WH questions, yeah? Good. So let's go to today's topic. Or today's main part. So listen, on page number 36, we have questions in simple past, but these questions are different. Why? Because we use... For example, what, where, when, or how, for example, okay? And then the rest is the same. Lo demás va como la pregunta que ya estudiamos. Primero va al did, luego va al subject, and then the verb, y luego el verbo, en presente, the verb in, Present and a complement if necessary. Y un complemento de ser necesario. If it's necessary, right? If it's not necessary, you don't have to put it. You are not like, uh, you don't have the obligation to do it. Okay, and we have the question, what did you buy? Information. I bought a vacation package. Information, right? So we use what for information. ¿Qué compraste? I bought a vacation package. A vacation package is information. And remember that in positive, the verb is in past. In positive, el verbo va en pasado. Question number two. Where did you fly to? Donde, hacia donde volaste? En el avión, right? In the, in the airplane. Where did you fly to? Did he, sorry. He flew, que es el pasado de fly. He flew to another country. El voló a otro país. O viajó a otro país. He flew to another country, okay? To another country, otro país, is a place, right? El where es para lugar. When, cuando. When did you, did we pay for the service? When did we pay for the service? Cuando pagamos por el servicio. So the pass of pay is paid. We paid for the service last month. How did they find out of that promotion? ¿Cómo descubrieron esa promoción? How did they find out of that promotion? Pasado de find, found. Como en positivo uso el verbo en pasado, I say they found out about it on the internet. Ellos la descubrieron en el internet. They found out about it on the internet. ¿Ok? Estas son preguntas abiertas en pasado. Yo les puedo decir, por ejemplo, uh, What did you do yesterday? ¿Qué hizo ayer? What did you do yesterday? I worked. I worked. You can say only that. Yo trabajé. I worked. Where did you fly to? Or where did you go yesterday? I went to work. Okay. When did we when did you pay for the when did you pay the electricity bill, for example? Cuando pagaste el, el recibo de luz? When did you pay the electricity bill? I paid the electricity bill yesterday, for example. Okay. And so on. Any doubt? ¿Alguna duda? Es siempre el pasado, pero con information questions, right? Y cuando hago una information question, no digo, yes, I do. Doy una respuesta larga. I give a long answer, okay? So, any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? Questions? Questions? No questions. It's clear. Sure. Yes, tell me, Hector. In Spanish. <laughs> eh, ahora entiendo un, 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 el libro este de, de Harry, Harry Potter. Oh. Cuando conoce al animalito, le dice, le, le pregunta, o le iba a preguntar, what are you? Pero él se arrepiente y le pregunta, who are you? Oh. Entonces ahí ya entiendo, ya entiendo por qué es esa, es, ese juego de palabras que hacen en el libro. So, okay. Solo era una. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's, it's okay and it's a good point. Okay, it's a good comment. Thank you. 
the idea is that you clarify your doubts about the class and about everything you, you see in English, right? Like Hector, okay? So do we have questions or is it clear? Ahorita no me están haciendo preguntas, pero ahora al principio de la clase cuando les estaba preguntando ejemplos, no me daban ejemplos, así que pregunten mejor si tienen dudas. Si tienen dudas, preguntan, pregunten, sorry. If you have doubts, please ask. Ask me your questions. Si ustedes no tienen preguntas, yo sí tengo preguntas. I have questions for you. Question number one. Pregunta uno. Ask me a question using what? Hagan una pregunta usando what. En pasado, in past. Using any verb, usando cualquier verbo. Teacher, what did you? What did you? Remember, what is for information, right? Let's escuch. What did you do on, on Sunday? Excellent. What did you do on Sunday? Uh, well, I went to church. I went fishing and I spent time with my family. Sounds good. All right. Thank you. Another question using what? What did you? Teacher, podría ser. Teacher, what did you, did you do visit San Salvador in the week? Mm -hmm. What did you do visit? Maybe for this question, you can, you can say when. Tal vez para esta pregunta mejor saldría when. When did when. you visit San Salvador? Uh -huh. uh, when, when did you visit San Salvador? Uh -huh. ¿Cuándo visitó San Salvador? I visited San Salvador like seven months ago, I think. Yeah, hace siete meses, like seven months ago. Okay, thank you, Irma. Now, one question using where. Teacher, where did you? Donde, where is donde? Where did you? For example, where did you Teacher, go on vacation? Where, oh, okay, Rafa. Where did you live? Where did you live? Where do you live? The question is okay, Rafa, but the question is in present, okay? Where do you live? I live in Morazan. But the, you are supposed to ask questions in past. Where did you, all right? But the question is okay, pero la pregunta está bien en presente. The question is okay in present. So where did you? I was saying, where did you go on vacation, okay? But tell me, ask me another question. Me voy a dar una pista, I will give you a clue. Teacher. Miren, miren, miren la, la cámara. Teacher, where did you? Where did you? I'm giving you yes. clues. Le, le estoy dando pizza. Bye. Where did you buy? Where did you buy? Where did you buy that shirt? You can say, teacher, where did you buy that shirt? ¿Dónde compró esa camisa? Where did you buy that shirt? Okay. Yes, I bought this shirt at a store in Metro Centro, I think, okay? Uh, now, ask me another question using where. And teacher, where? No, see, where era? Yes, where, using where. Uh, where did cut of hair, of hair? Oh, where did you cut your hair? Where did you cut your hair? Repeat the question, please, Carl. Microphone. Where did you cut your hair? Your hair. And, and in the answer say, I cut my hair at a friend's barber. At a friend's barber, okay? Okay. Yeah, thank you, Carla. Next, question using when. Well, Irma asked me one question using when, right? Okay, another question using when. When is cuando? When did you? When did, you... when did you visit uh, Inglés Corporativo? 
Mm, I visited English Corporativo the last year. <gasps> last year. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I almost never visit English Corporativo because I work online only. Solo trabajo online. I only work okay. online. Okay. Okay. But there are some teachers who work like at English Corporativo, like in real life classes. Okay. Face to face okay. classes. Another question using when? When Elisa. did you last time? Okay. When did you last time that come San Salvador? Can you repeat your question, please? <laughs> when did you last time mm -hmm. that you come San Salvador? Ah, uh, we are going to restructure the question. Okay. When did you come to San Salvador the last time? Last time. Okay. Yeah, repeat the question. When did you come to come San Salvador the last time? <laughs> Let me remember. When I went to Inglés Corporativo the last year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Excellent. Because I went to leave some documents. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Elenisa. I'll ask you uh, now one question using how. How? How, how is come? Yeah. How you... buen, pero ya estuvo. Oh, okay, it's okay. Javier, go ahead, adelante. Uh, when did you last take a bus? Um, let me, oh, well, I take a bus almost every day. Okay. Yeah, I, I travel like three times a week. I travel by bus to work. Ah, okay. Yeah. Thank you, Javier. Now using how, how is como? Teacher, how did you come usted? How did you? And teacher, how did you learn English? Hi, good question. It was it was a hard process, believe me. It was a difficult process. It's a difficult process, actually. So, but I learned English with music. Uh, reading, listening uh, to many things, watching TV in English, different things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Carla. Good. Using why, teacher, why did you? Por qué usted, why did you? For example, teacher, why did you study English? Por qué estudió inglés? Why did you study English? So questions using why? Why is por qué? Reason. Why did you oh. ask? Okay, about Lucy and then the... Javier. Lucy, okay. Why Lucy? did you why did you ask about the electricity problems? <laughs> because there was a massive problem around the country, I think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it was everywhere around the country, I think. Okay, uh, Javier? Uh, how did you become a uh, become such a uh, expert teacher? Oh my goodness, that's a good question. I think it was by experience. Okay. Yeah, okay, very good. Okay, thank you very much for your questions. Remember, uh, asking these questions had a purpose, okay? The purpose of these questions was to practice questions, WH questions with the simple past, okay? But now let's practice a little bit more. Vamos a intentar hacer sesiones de grupo, okay? Si no, no funciona esta vez, ya no lo hacemos, de acuerdo? All right. ¿Qué van a hacer? What are you going to do? Pay attention carefully. Presten atención. Pay attention carefully. You will write questions, okay? But listen, please, listen. All the questions will be related to question number one. All the questions will be related to question number one. And you write the answers, okay? For example, if you, if you in question number one, you write, um, what did you do on Saturday, for example? Let, let me, I will give you one example here. 
Uh, what imagine you have here? What did you do on Saturday, for example? What did you do on Saturday? Oh, and in the answer, you can have what? I work, for example. I worked. Okay, uh, so maybe here, the question can be why, okay, sorry, why did you work? ¿Por qué trabajaste? Maybe you can say, uh, because, <coughs> uh, because uh, a coworker, I don't know, I'm just uh, trying to, to, to give you one example, okay? Because a coworker uh, didn't go to work, porque un compañero no fue a trabajar. Because a coworker didn't go to work, for example, okay? And you continue. Where did you? Work, donde trabajaste? And then you continue, right? Okay, uh, let me see. I worked uh, at, what is your company? I don't know. I would say, uh, I don't know why solo Simon se me viene a la mente. It's maybe because of the publicity, for la publicidad quizás. Uh -huh. So uh, where did you work? I work at Simon. Who, who uh, did you work with? ¿Con quién trabajaste? Who did you work with? I, uh, for example, I work with Elsie, all right, for example. Okay, I work with Elsie. Yo trabajé con, con Elsie, I work with Elsie, okay? Uh, then the question using how, how did you know about your co workers absence, for example, como supiste la ausencia de tu compañero de trabajo? Uh, then you can say, um, my boss called me, all right? Mi jefe me llamó, my boss called me. Solo estoy tratando de darles un ejemplo. I'm just trying to give you one example. So please, if possible, de ser posible, all the questions have to be connected with question number one, okay? Todas las preguntas deben estar conectadas con la pregunta one, okay? Yeah? Any doubt? Alguna duda? Do you have any doubt? Or it's clear. Aquí no, no pongan did you do. Ustedes ya van a poner otra cosa, right? You put something different. For example, what did you buy on Christmas? ¿Qué compraste en Navidad? What did you buy on Christmas? Y luego todas las preguntas conectadas. Why did you buy that? Where did you buy it? Who did you buy it with? Okay. Yeah. Any question? Any question? No. Is it clear what answer? Is it clear what you have to do? Yes, teacher. Yes. Remember, all the questions have to be connected to question number one. All the questions need to be connected with question number one. Okay? Yeah. Muy bien, veo que varios tienen cámara apagada. No sé si todos van a trabajar para, para hacer los equipos, para ver si podemos trabajar en equipo o si no. Se cortamos y nos regresamos a la sesión principal. Sí, teacher, yo sí. Ok, muy bien. Bueno, vamos a hacer equipos de aproximadamente tres, ok? Ok, let's go. So in your team, everybody needs to have the same. En el equipo todos van a tener lo mismo, ok? Try to have the same. Traten de tener lo mismo. Try to have the same, ok? Ok, let's go. Veamos si funciona.
Lucy, ¿le apareció la invitación para ir a trabajar en grupos? Yes, and I accept the, the invitation, but I don't know. Try to accept it again, please. Ok. Aparece ahí por el botoncito que dice recording, creo. Sí. What? Entonces, como dijo la dijo el teacher, que lo mismo deberíamos de tener los tres, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, yo ya empecé, por ejemplo, en la primera puse, What do you do on Sunday? La respuesta, I went to the beach. How What? do you know about to the beach? Because my friends told me and they like this to that place. Why did you go to the beach? Because I need some rest. Where did you where did you, where did you go? I went to La Libertad. Who? Yo creo que la otra pregunta era... La otra es con tú. Who? Who, did who did you? ¿Quién te acompañó? Ajá. No, who? Who, who did you... Eh, ¿Con quién fue contigo? Who did you... Go with. Go with. Ah. Go with. Ah, tal vez... Traten de hacer una... Okay, I know you finished, Lucy. And it's okay. It's really good. But maybe try to do one all together, okay? Try to do a set of questions all together, okay? Because these are your questions, right? And the idea is that you think about some questions, but all together as a group, okay? Como group, okay? Please. But your questions are okay. Pero eh, las preguntas suyas están bien. Your questions are okay. All right? Okay. Entonces, what did, what did you go? Maybe don't, you use, go? maybe don't use do. Try to use an, a different verb, not do, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, not do. Because I use do in my question, okay? So you, you could use a different verb. Ah, okay. Bye, maybe, I don't know. I was saying bye. What did you make? Bye. Yeah. Friday. Monday. Monday. But, but it's the same. You are just changing do for make. <laughs> Maybe you can say, uh, what did you cook for dinner? I don't know. I'm just giving you ideas. What Or did what you... did you visit on Sunday? Mm -hmm. Lugar de do? Yeah, but visit, I feel, doesn't, doesn't match. What? Porque, ¿qué ah, visitaste? Sí. Ajá, sería ah, donde en este, lugar, en este case, right? Sí, so, es. sí ahí tra traten de elegir un verbo que pegue con el what. ¿Qué compraste, por ejemplo, el, el fin de año? ¿Qué comiste en la mañana? ¿Ok? Puede ser. What did you eat in the morning? I don't know. You, you, you decide. What did you... Quedémonos con el do. What did you do? <risa> sí. okay, okay, quédense con el do, pero mencionan una actividad diferente. It's okay. Okay. What did you do on Sunday? Porque el teacher habló de, de work, ¿verdad? pero nosotros no vamos a hablar del work, sino del when. 
I went to the beach. How did you know about the beach? ¿Por qué no, no lo hacemos como una entrevista, Diego? Algo así que hiciste antes de este... ¿En qué trabajaste? Algo así. ¿Qué? What, did, what did you do before, before the... Before lunch. No, no de ¿cómo se llama? Okay, ¿en qué trabajaste antes? Me What did como, you do before? Como la experiencia de trabajo que, 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 que tuvo antes. What did you do oh, after? Before, maybe after. you can say, What did you do before your current work? Antes de Co tu trabajo actual. Before your current work. Current, current. Current, uh -huh, current. C-U-R-R-E-N-T. Uh -huh. I, I like that. Esa me gusta. Uh, okay. What do, you, what do you do? Before your current work. Uh, okay. Work. Porque las otras preguntas creo que son similares a una entrevista. Okay. Current work. In Trabajo my case, actual. in my case, uh, for example, the, what did you do before your current work? I studied. Ah, ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces sería I did, I did study. I did, I did mm. study. No. I studied. I studied. Okay. I studied. Uh, Recuerden que el did era uh, para dar énfasis a algo, okay, to give emphasis to something, okay. So you say I studied in college. Well, university is like college, or university. It depends. If it's a technical career, you say college. Oh. Era una carrera técnica o una carrera ya más profunda. Uh -huh. Si era una carrera técnica, you can say college. University no puede ser. Yeah, if it's like a a more Let's see, a larger career. I studied at the university, you can say. You better say university. Okay. In Salvador, we only have universities. We have no colleges. And the next question, what did you... What did you do? No, sorry. How no, did you know how did ab about it? ¿Cómo, cómo? Perdón. For example, how in the next in the next question, how did you know about it? ¿Cómo, cómo supiste de, de... de eso? O de, o no, no, creo que no. Como no, de ese trabajo. How did you know? How do you know? About? About it. About this work, no sé. Ajá, uh -huh. about, about the work. The work, okay. In Facebook. <laughs> yeah. On Fe on marketplace. Oh no. On, <laughs> link <marketplace>. on LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> on LinkedIn. No, uh, link link and come on. Link LinkedIn. Come on, come on. LinkedIn. Ah, pues ese. <laughs> on on LinkedIn. Está bien on. No sé, ahí sí me confundo si es on o on. A mí se me ha olvidado las prepositions. You say on. On ad. On Facebook, on Instagram, on. To talk on. about social networks, you say on. On LinkedIn. Yeah, on LinkedIn. La otra okay. es. The next is why. Why did you why? Why did you apply? Apply. Why did you apply to this work? Uh -huh. But I think I'll 
Why did you? ¿Cómo se escribe? Because, because I need the work. I need work. <laughs> because? Oh, because because I'm interested. In, I'm interested. In, I'm interested. En pasado. Porque necesito re, recoger experiencia o, o necesito. Tener... Because I I need. Es como ganar experiencia. Sería mm. I need. Ganar, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Se me ha olvidado. Pero win es como de... Say, no. Gain. 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 Ajá. I need, gain. I gain experience. Yeah, yeah. But repeat the question, please. What is the question? Why did you apply to this work? Ah, uh, but, but the, the answer is in past. Because I needed. Because I needed to gain experience. Porque necesitaba. I needed. With ED, right? Con ED en el need. Because it's past, okay? Because I needed to gain experience, okay? Gain is G-A-V-E, gain. G-A-I-N, gain. 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 And need in past, needed. Needed, okay? Needed, needed. To gain experience. Exactly. Because I needed to gain experience. La otra es where, where is, where, where, donde vea. Where did you study where did you study is in the present in past you say study Studied in past. Hola, hola. Creo que salió Lucy. Sí, no, y, y creo que también mi internet como que se cayó. Al, algún Majo. otro pagó. Majo sí está ahí. Majo sí está ahí. Ah, vaya. Sí. <laughs> Y podría ser la, la, la otra, where did you study? ¿Dónde estudiaste? Where did you study? Pero study. estudió el que, eh, su segundo ciclo, tercer ciclo, bachillerato, o hay que especificar o solamente así. No, si están hablando de university. Ya se sabe que es university, como ya dijeron university en la, en la, en la pregunta anterior. Ajá. Ajá. En UEC, UCLA. All right. ¿No? Yeah. So, yeah, you can say I started at, and then you say the name. Uh, I, I, no, I did. No, I was. I started. I started at. In UCA, es más fácil, UCA, o UCLA, en Yale. <laughs> Maya por mami. ¿Mande? No, sorry, me permite un minutito, nada más. Uh, uh.
is you recommend. Who did you recommend for this work? I think Lucy is back. Hello. Hello. Sorry for the inconvenience. My Wi-Fi is off. Está fallando. Uh -oh. and, and with a cellular data. data. Wi-Fi is the cellular. Sí, me prestaron un teléfono con datos, pero no sé cuánto va a durar. <ríe> ya le voy a meter un dólar. <ríe> Nos habíamos quedado en, en Where did you study? Where did you? Ah, ok. Ajá, y aquí le pusimos I studied in UCA. Ah. UCA. Bueno, por lo menos. UCA. Where did you study? At UCA. Mm. Uh -huh. At. No, yo no, yo. Yo, <laughs> yo no. Majo, Majo, study at UCA. Ah, oh, really? Wow, Majo. I don't know. <laughs> Just thinking. <laughs> en Sonsonate es la. ¿Cómo se llama la de Sonsonate? Uso. La uso. USO. US. Ajá. Podríamos usar el USO. Uh, it's better UCA. <laughs> UCA. Much better. U-E-S. U -E -S. La otra es, who, no sé qué dicen ustedes. Who did you recommend for this work? ¿Quién te recomendó para este trabajo? Pero no sé cómo se ve en el pasado. Eh, fui recomendado por. Por, por mi. In, ¿Cómo, this, ¿cómo in, digo, in, this, in this case, the question would be different. En este caso, la pregunta quedaría diferente. No usaríamos el did. Ok, usaríamos directamente el verbo y el who quedaría como un sujeto. Sería who recommended you for this job. Who recommended, recommended in past, right? Who recommended you for this job. El who quedaría Pero como conmigo. un sujeto. Ya no usamos el did you. Sorry. Ah, ok. Who recommended, Who recommended you yeah, for, for this, this job? job. Mm -hmm. For this job. Okay. Y la, entonces la respuesta sería was. No. And my, my friend. My, my, my friends no. or my sister-in-law recommended me or something like that. My sister-in-law me parece bien. My sister-in-law recommended, recommended me. Me recomendó. Mi cuñada me recomendó. My sister-in-law recommended me. Ya está. Ahí está, ya. In this, in this answer, you can say, uh, for not saying my, my sister-in-law recommended me, you can say my sister-in-law did. 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 Did yes. recommending. No, no. Only my sister-in-law did. For ah, the question is, yes. right? Who recommended you for the job? Oh, my sister-in-law did. Ah, y ahí okay. se queda lo, la hizo. lo hizo. That's pues right. Lo hizo. Uh, That's okay. right. My sister-in-law did it. Did. 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 No, you can say only did. Ah, okay. In this okay. case. Yeah. For not saying recommended, recommended in the answer. Okay. Hey. Ah, okay. Bien. 
Está bien. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Majo. Thank you, Lucy. Thank todos, you. To, todos, escri todos escribieron las preguntas, ¿verdad? Bye, Everybody Lucy. wrote the questions, right? Yes. Yes, and the answers, okay. En la de where, where did you study? Solo at UCA. Solo esa era la respuesta. Uh, at UCA. I studied at UCA, sería. I studied. I studied. I yeah. Studied. Okay. Es in u on or on. At, I studied at. I studied in UCA or is you studied on UCA? No, yeah. It's in. You can say in in this case because you are being specific. Okay. In. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay. I study in the university. Ooh. Okay, esperemos que regresen todos porque faltan algunos. We are missing some people, okay? So let's wait for them to come back. Now everybody is getting back to the main station. Let's wait. Let's hold on. We are missing three people in the main station. I Teacher, think. did you have any problem about the time this time? About the time? What about the... Yes, the room, because the, the room sessions. <laughs> no, no, thanks God I didn't have any problems. <laughs> so it's, don't worry, okay? We are going to finish at 10. Lo que hago es que no, no, a mí me gusta, realmente a mí lo, lo que me gusta es visitar los grupos, ¿verdad? Para ver cómo lo que están haciendo, pero lastimosamente a veces cuando me muevo de grupo, ahí es que se traba el... El, el Zoom, ahí, se, ahí es que se, se traba Zoom, entonces por eso me, por eso ah, me voy y me quedo en un solo grupo. Aunque no me gusta así, pero también oh, es bueno que interactúen entre ustedes de vez en cuando, por eso lo hago, ¿ok? That's why I do it. De hecho, a mí me encanta. Okay, I like teamwork. All right. Muy bien, para mis sesiones, me, me encanta el trabajo en equipo, ¿verdad? Lastimosamente, por el problema que está dando Zoom, no se puede ahorita mucho. ¿Ok? Very good. So, I guess everybody finished, right? Did everyone finish? Yes, escuchen mi pregunta. Yes. Did everyone finish? It's in past, right? My question is in past. Did everyone finish? Yes? Yeah. Yes. All right. That's very good. That's excellent. So let me oh, pass yeah. the attendance and we we'll listen to some of you. Pasaré asistencia y luego escucharemos algunos. Okay? Uh, Carlos? Claudia? Cristina? Daniel. Present. Doris, Raquel. Ellen Eason. Elsie. Hazel. Hector. I'm here, teacher. Irma. I'm here, teacher. Javier. I'm here, teacher. Johnny. Mauricio is connected, but he's present. Okay. Lucy. Present. Present, teacher. Rafa. Present, teacher. Mamá is present, right? Yes. Present, present, teacher. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no,
present teacher. Ulises. Wendy. Wendy is at present, right? I am, I am here, teacher. Okay. Carla Raquel. Carla Maria, sorry. Present. And Carla Raquel. Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, let's listen to some uh, groups. Escuchemos a algunos, okay, de los equipos. For example, from Irma, Carla, Raquel, and Santos were together, right? Trabajaron juntos. You were together. So can you yes. read your can yes. you read your questions? Well, actually, maybe Santos, you can read the questions, and maybe Carla Maria can read answer the questions. Okay. Okay. Uh, what did you what did you do on vacation? <laughs> Carla Raquel, sorry. Um, I, I made a uh, mistake. Tal vez Carla Raquel puede responder las ah, preguntas porque tiene lo mismo. You have the same, right? Ok, así es. Bueno, yo como dije, oí que era la otra Carla. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. Yo me equivoqué. I made a mistake, sorry. Bye. Eh, eh, si quiere comience compañero ok what do you do on vacation I went to the beach with my family wait continue with the next question Santos continue con la siguiente uh, pregunta how do you what how do you do how did you the, the beach I I rent I bus. But, bus. Why did you go to the beach? Because I like. Okay. Where did you go? I wear la libertad. Okay. Who did you go? Was my family. With my family, okay? With okay. my family. Yes, in the question you say, who did you go with, okay? Who did you go with, okay, Santos? Okay, okay, who did you go who with? Who did you go with? With, excellent, okay. okay. Thank okay. you, that's excellent. Thank you, Santos Thanks. and Carla, Raquel. Thank you very much. Okay, um, ya tomé una foto acá, okay? Ahí ya tomé una foto ahorita de, la, de, la, de los grupos, de cómo trabajaron. Para que compartan mañana, porque no los quiero dejar ir tarde, ¿ok? Ya en clases anteriores los de ir muy tarde, ya son las 10 y 2. Así que mañana van a compartir, así, así como compartió el grupo de Santos, así van a compartir mañana, ¿ok? Lo de siempre, los, los equipos. Un, un miembro lee las preguntas y el otro las respuestas, ¿de acuerdo? Aquí tengo con quién trabajaron, so don't worry, please. No pierdan las notas que hicieron, don't lose the notes, please. Ok, everybody, well, recuerden siempre, mañana... Si no han trabajado en la sección, pueden trabajar mañana durante el día o hoy en la noche también, ¿verdad? Para que puedan avanzar. Y antes de la sección mañana deben tener completa la sección 3, ¿ok? Please. Ok, everybody, thank you very much for connecting today. Goodbye and good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye, bye. Carla María. Bye, bye. Bye. Bye, bye. bye. See teacher. you tomorrow. Yeah. Good night, teacher. Just a question. I remember you said yesterday uh, is my turn to the minutes. Yes, that's correct. I want to apologize because I have a bad connection, teacher. I don't know if I can take in the next week or other day. Si alguien de los que está presente quiere cambiar con usted, si es posible. Si no, no. Si no, no se puede. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Bueno, creo que ya se salieron. Tal vez si mi ese sí, ya se hubiéramos salieron. visto. Ajá, pero ya se salieron. Ah, bueno. Poco. Solo si no, no voy a conectar la cámara. Tal vez no se me congela. No, no. No hay ningún problema. There's no problem. Ok. Thank you. Ok, no problem. Well, okay. well for me, it's, it's very interesting the double-edged questions. Because it's, it's the topic... Uh, you need, we need to use every day. In my case, in my work, is very common. Uh, necessary. It's and very, very common, common, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Yes, definitely, it's true. Okay, so WH questions are very, very important in everyday conversations. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah. But the the past tense is more is difficult for me. In the in the case your deal, you when uh, when I need to use did or or where I I think is I need to study that topic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, uh, the purpose, right? Is the purpose? Is about the purpose. For example, yeah. was you use was and where when you want to say, I mean, estaba yo estaba o yo era in Spanish, right? O él estaba, él era. Yeah. Or ella estaba, ella era. So you use was or where. It depends on the on the on the on the pronoun, okay? And then for the rest of the verbs, yeah. para los demás verbos, solo debemos saber el pasado. We just need to know the past. Okay, and that's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, no problem. It's okay. So, uh, well. básicamente, Lucy, este espacio es para, para usted, okay? Si tiene dudas, si tiene preguntas. Sí, gracias. Ah, pero si no hay preguntas, sí, yo, yo no hay ningún problema. Sí. Uh -huh. sí, yo creo que sí, estamos bien, teacher. Ok. Ok. Muchas gracias, thank you so much. It's ok, no problem. Si no hay preguntas, entonces. Have a good night. Yeah, you can have a good night, ok? And thank you for saying. Take okay. care. Ok, thank you, bye. Bye, bye, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Ok, bye.